All right, guys, I promised you I'd give you a review of the speed binders. Let me grab the drill. That's what we're doing today. We got a speed binder, we got the old binder, we got a chain, we got a 90-2, we got some opinions. Let's get to it. All right, so here's the deal. We are gonna do a review on these speed binders. First things first, let's get this one off of here so we can get a better look at it. All right, so let's get to it on this review. They are called speed binders, speedbinders.com. You see it right there. I'll put a link in the description for sure so you can check them out for yourself. But here's what we got, 9,200 pounds. They are DOT approved. They've got 3 8 hooks on the end. They are driven by a worm gear that is operated by this. That's a size 14. They have a grease zert. Everything in here is all enclosed. Listen, I could talk all day about these things, but let me just show you a couple things I like about it, okay? With a traditional binder, you drop in the dirt. Look, you get all this residue and crap on the inside that makes the drive hard to operate sometimes. And on these, everything's enclosed. I like that a lot, especially if I'm thinking salt corrosion, mud, all that crap. I like that that's completely enclosed and protected. Number two, let's go back over here. Transition. I love the fact that there's a grease cert. That's amazing. It's also protected by this fancy little shroud that comes with it. That's gonna keep everything lubed up nice and loose on the inside. And that's how we like our binders, right? Right. So, it's really, you can see, maybe, you can see, it keeps it nice and greased up. All right, good smooth operation. So, let's, um. Throw one of these on, throw one of those on, time both of it, see where we're at. All right, so to run this test, I ran these all the way out. Uh, we're gonna spray a little lube on here, just so we can't even use a dry barrel as an excuse. Um, this link will stay the same, and we're gonna connect to the one, two, three, fourth link on this one and we'll do the fourth link on the binder speed binder as well so we're going the same distance okay okay i got my fancy dancy fancy dancy fancy smancy phone here we're in time on it we'll even make sure it's clicked the right way all right here we go ready go Sixteen seconds. Sixteen seconds. That's the regular binder. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's time it coming off too. Why not? Right. Reset. Start. Flip it. Go. seconds so it's about 16 on 16 off all right let's do the speed bar reset the clock please what did I say one two three four Okay, one, two, three, fourth link. That's the same. This is ran out. Oh, let's adjust the camera. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, so now we got the speed binder on there. Just like the last one, one, two, three, fourth link. Everything up top is the same. Ready, set, go. Fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. One second faster. Listen, it's faster. All right, let's take it off as well. Oh, why did I start that already? Reset. All right, so now let's uh, 
let's back it off of there. And we'll go ahead and hit start. Beep. Put the drill on. Here we go. Fourteen seconds. All right. Okay, so all in all, I did this test uh, three times, ran it all the way out each time, and then ran it down until it was tight, and then unhooked it. The first times you see here at the top of the list are the times that I showed you, um, and obviously, one, two, three, you guys know how progression works. So, Okay, so I'm going to jump in here real quick. One thing I forgot to mention while I was down there that day, that speed binder is actually, when it's ran all the way out, about two inches longer than what that ratcheting binder is. So even though I went... So the same chain link, the fourth chain link, since the speed binder is longer, technically it had to close up a larger gap. So in all reality, you could probably safely shave a couple of those seconds off that speed binder's time. Just something I wanted to make sure I pointed out and didn't forget to mention in the video. So speaking of the video, let's get back to it. Really not a huge difference speed wise. If, if, these are lubed and in good shape, right? And I suppose that goes to this too, but this has a grease cert. Everything is enclosed. You saw earlier, it doesn't get crap packed in there when you drop it on the ground, which is going to happen. Or road grime like salt if you're driving in northern climates. Um, so even though they're the same speed, if everything is working perfectly, I don't know. This is a lot easier on my arms. That's for Dagon, sure. Um, I'm not doing any twisting. I'm just running a drill on there. Now, I do have one other thing I want to do as a test. Um, people ask about what you do if your battery dies. Well, it is a 14. That died. So batteries do die, I guess. Um, it is a 14 millimeter. So there, that's what you do. So for funsies, let's run that in with a ratchet and see how long that takes. Yeah, so that's that's kind of miserable. It's not even tight yet. Listen, that concludes that experiment. What are we at? Two minutes right now. So I feel like it's worth mentioning. Yeah, it takes a long time to do it with a ratchet, but it does work. So if something does happen with a drill or batteries, you still have an option. It's not the best option, but it is an option. So my suggestion, if you're gonna invest in these binders, invest in the right setup with a power inverter and a charger on the truck. If you're gonna do it, do it right. All right, so like I was saying, um, speed binders all the way. Yeah, they're the same on time trials right now, but keep in mind, this is perfect condition. It's lubed up, it's clean, it's ready to go. This winter we're driving and these things get covered in salt, especially the insides of this like that get covered in salt, that's gonna slow these down a lot. So I think in the long run, speed binders will be quicker. Not to mention less labor intensive and less busted knuckles for me, which I super appreciate. So um, definitely glad he has these. Definitely gonna be my preferred binder, what I'm gonna go to from now on. I'll put the link in the description for you guys to check out. As always, thanks for watching. We'll finish this video off with a little bit of Mac driving so you can listen to some exhaust and Jake brakes. And check out, check out this new dump truck Mike got me. It's got no mirrors, so I got that going for me. All right, thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.